We are Ron and Joy and we are the School Crafts. In today's episode, we are taking you along with us to Bowling Green, Kentucky for a very exciting couple of days as we pick up our 2024 C8 Corvette Stingray at the National Corvette Museum. We'll show you why we decided to pick it up there, though we ordered it in Illinois. Also, we'll take you on our 15-hour scenic drive home while Ron excitedly drove his brand new Corvette and me following him driving nervously in our LTV camper van for the very first time through the back roads of Indiana, Illinois, and southern Wisconsin. How we made it home safely through the heavy storm. And of course, what's our decision on towing this Corvette when traveling with our LTV? We had a late start and we got about 7 hours to drive not including the potty breaks for the puppies and stretching breaks for Ron. And with the Chicago traffic, even in the suburbs, no way, for sure we'll get there late at night. We're glad that we got this camper van, we can stop anywhere and anytime when we're tired and sleep comfortably even in the rest areas. And the best thing, for short trips like this, we can easily and quickly pack things and take our dogs with us, Hunter, Sparkle and Glitter. And sure, they do love traveling with us and it didn't take them too long to find their own favorite comfortable spots. Glitter off the table, silly dog! And there's Hunter, he's so fast taking over my seat every time he gets a chance. It was around 2 a.m. when we decided to stop at the rest area just outside Bowling Green and we snuck in between the noisy trucks. But we're so tired that we didn't even notice the noise. So today is the big day! We had an early morning drive. We got a 9 o'clock scheduled delivery time. Wow, look at this. Nice Corvette right outside the Corvette Museum. Really gets the blood pumping, waiting for ours that's inside the museum. So here we go. Are you ready? Heck yeah. Let's go. Oh my, there's my favorite sports car color. Wow, they have a full showroom of the new Corvettes that's scheduled to be picked up today. And here's Stacy waiting for us is going to do the walkthrough of our new car. And there she is. And look at Ron. Love at first sight. Ooh-wee! Look at that blue sexy machine. Now that is well worth a six-month wait. The main reason why we decided to schedule the delivery pickup here, even if we ordered it in Illinois Corvette dealership six months ago, it's because of the awesome ultimate delivery experience that you cannot get anywhere other than here in the iconic National Corvette Museum in Kentucky. It is a very special car, at least for Ron, and it deserves its own special moment. Why not? Ron has been waiting for this moment for almost 40 years to get his dream car. I guess we're now in that stage of life or age that we got a mindset of why not? Why can't we? And why wait? We have this great opportunity. And yes, no more excuses for us. We work hard for more than 30 years in each of our own careers. And it's the truth. We're not getting any much younger. And we realize that it's time to start enjoying the fruits of our labor where we're still not too old yet and still healthy enough to do things we love. Right. That's number one. Okay. Right. All the number one seat functions and all that. So one of the cool stuffs you get for museum delivery pickup, I call it the golden ticket. And they stick it on the driver's side door that authenticates that this car is a museum delivery pickup. Then also you get this commemorative plaque with car owner's name and the VIN number. But hey wait, where's my name? Then you get a VIP tour of the museum with a year of membership and also a tour of Bowling Green Corvette assembly plant. Both we skipped because we're running out of time and we already did a museum tour two years ago with the kids. But we would love to go back though to get the VIP tour before our one-year membership expires. You also get some discounts in their gift shop. We got some few items, mostly sweatshirts and hats for souvenirs. The big thing, 
they get to showcase your new car on the Corvette Boulevard as you enter. And lastly, the best part is the exciting dramatic exit as the staff drives your car with you exiting the museum. And yes, all of this comes with just a small extra fee. Uh, just our little simple joys in life. So it's time to go back to see the puppies and have our LTV camper van, the mighty blue meets the reptile blue for the first time. So is it gonna be like love at first sight too for both? Well, I guess we'll just keep those thoughts between themselves for I'm sure they'll be the best of buds in the future. We decided to go back to the museum to have lunch at their famous Stingray Grill. We park at their special designated parking spots here, mostly for Corvettes only. We both got their Stingray burger with sweet potato fries for me and pasta salad for Ron. Really, really good. Then we got this delicious derby pie for dessert, a chocolate pie with walnuts and a top with a scoop of ice cream. Yum! Now it's about 2 p.m. and time to start our 15 hour or so drive home. And oh boy, as we are leaving the museum, we can see these dark clouds ahead of us. I told myself, this is not good. I'm starting to feel really, really nervous. Especially it's my very first time to drive the LTV and this is just not how I envisioned myself driving journey with this camper van. I also felt nervous for Ron and worried that with all the flooded roads that he will drive through with his new car because it sits so low. Well, I guess this will test how tough his Corbett will gonna be with this kind of weather. After an hour of raining cats and dogs, the rain stopped and I finally got to see the blue skies again and of course the blue Corvette that's been playing Now You See Me, Now You Don't through that storm. I can see it clearly now in front of me. What are you doing? Quick pit stop here at Culver's for putty break for the puppies and ice cream for me and Ron. And I tried to shake off my nerves after the nerve-wracking drive. So as it gets later and darker through the day, we're still driving and trying to find a place to stop and park for the night. Driving in a small town and back roads of Indiana in the dark with two lane roads just not helping me getting over my fears and nervousness from earlier, especially driving this van through lots of twists and turns. Then there's those tree branches too on the road from the recent storm and some animal crossing. I'm thinking I can put this on my list of white knuckle driving. After 30 minutes, I saw headlights coming towards me and it's the first car I saw driving on this road so far. And finally, we saw more lights in front of us. That's not counting those bursts of lightning on and off. And we made it to a bigger town still in Indiana and found a spot to boondock for the night. Thank goodness. Now we're heading home. Ron said it's about six and a half hours because we're gonna use again the back roads. It's gonna be a nice day today, better than yesterday, no rain. So this is gonna be a fun ride. Gonna be a long ride home. Follow me out down to the bay. Forget all the worries when you're with me. Let every wave gently kiss away some of the hardness from those brief yet gloomy days. 
stop um, for a quick break at McDonald's to have a breakfast. So we're off to go again. No more bell. Wow, I cannot believe I finally got my Corvette. I had a chance to buy one when I was 18 years old at 69. Same color blue, almost. But even then I knew I couldn't afford the insurance, so I ended up getting a different car, a 70 Cuda instead. But now, 40 plus years later, I finally have a car that I've been dreaming about since I was an 18 year old. My very own, Corvette. Gotta love the blue with the red interior. Looks good going down the road, don't it? Finally had to get rid of the Cuda when the kids turned 16. Now the daughter has our Subaru that took the place of the Cuda. Our son has the Weiss and Z3. Garage needed a V8. Woohoo! I got my vet. I'm a happy camper. The garage is happy. It gets no better than this. It does look good sitting in that garage. So, uh, what do you think about your drive today, sweetie? Woohoo! How can it not be good in a Corvette? He's so excited. So the big question, do we want to tow this? Of course, 100%. But we got few things to consider though. Number one, the weight. And we know we cannot flat tow this. Also, we love how easy it is to park our LTV anywhere because of its size. And for me, driving the van with the tow behind us will just make me more nervous every time I'm driving it. So for now, we decided not to do it. We'll just enjoy driving our LTV and the C8 individually. But eventually, we'd love to take this car on our longer trips like 6 to 8 months at a time. Because I know for sure, someone will miss his Corvette. So maybe when that time comes, we will get a lighter enough cover trailer for this. But we'll see. We would love to hear your comments and suggestions on this. See you next time!